Earlier this week, the family of Jonathan McAvoy identified him as the driver who crashed into the pipeline and caused the explosion. Police are still investigating the fire. Yeah, but some neighbors are still not able to live inside of their homes, and the repairs could take months. KPRC 2's Corley Peel taking us down the block. We're getting a close up look at the homes that were damaged two weeks after that pipeline fire. You can see this home here now boarded up and has tarp covering the roof after experienced excessive heat. Right next door, this family has a fence surrounding their home. Caution tape out front, black smoke staining the garage and the rest of their home. Their windows blown out after that explosion. Right next door here, we've seen restoration crews going in and out of the home trying to salvage furniture or anything they can inside the home after experience excessive damage across the street here. This is where that pipeline fire happened. Crews have been out here cleaning up, trying to restore whatever they can and putting barricades out front, trying to prevent another tragedy in the future. Right next to this is the park where a lot of the playground equipment was melted from that fire. Now down the street here, there are several homes that experienced minor damage and a lot of the people have been able to go back to their homes. I did speak with a man named Robert Blair. He says he feels lucky that he only has minimal damage, but he says he will never forget that fire and just a big explosion looked out the window big ball of fire hot came down opened the front door to go out couldn't go out it was just too hot it was like somebody with a blowtorch just right in front of you Blair showed us the damage this is the watering system that waters the, the whole house the yards and everything and it melted it melted yes this has all been replaced it's all new and I'm worried about here where the separation from the house and the and the bricks are separated now and oh, this yeah. paper's coming out and I don't know what's that what's that done to the integrity of the house do you think it shifted during that explosion I think so wires here melted I spoke with another neighbor who says her insurance company is providing her a rental property to stay at until her home is restored she says her insurance is fortunately covering all of her damages from the fire it's unclear when she will be able to return home it could take months in Deer Park Corley Peel, KPRC 2 News.